really got chosen? Whoa, am I really that potent? Is it really my pride that my tears gone dry? I'm in dust and show them no more. Am I really that broken? Whoa, have I really got chosen? They don't really know. Emotions approaching, burning inside that cold skin. But one thing for sure, I lost it. What if I had no strength? Welcome back to Sports Max Zone. It's Friday and time for another edition of Celebrity Knock. Celebrity Knock is where we invite influential and or prominent persons within society here on The Zone. In previous episodes, we've given you music producers, recording artists, both locally and internationally, media personalities, athletes and even politicians. Today's guest is former international under 23 footballer, now music producer of Dynasty Entertainment and entrepreneur Kyle Butler. Kyle, welcome. Um, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you on the Sports Max Zone as well. So, footballer turned businessman and of course music producer. Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Um, well, I have always been business oriented. Even when I was playing football, I was always wanted to do, you know, things in terms of business, anything that will, you know, make sense, make, have any value. So, um, it's a, it was an easy transition, I would say, because I was already doing it even in my spare time as a footballer. So, yeah. I know, but looking at your family, you come from a heavily football-oriented family. Yes. People would have a lot of questions as to why music, you know, mm -hmm. why not continue the legacy of your family? What, you know, I want you to talk to us about the phase that made you go through that transition. Oh, <laughs> um, that is a very, very, very personal question, I yeah. would say, but, um, the, the phase was that I was getting a lot of roadblocks and it was going through a tough mental situation. Yeah. And even the situation with my family right now isn't the best because mm -hmm. they still believe that football is the way for me. However, I believe that God has his destiny for me, not even me. So I'm trusting God and trusting his past so yeah and Kyle that makes you very strong so talk to me now about getting into producing music and of course branching out into that industry that's very it's heavily dominated it's about the who's who so I want you to talk to me about you know your experience being a producer your plans moving forward okay uh, my experience being a music producer it's really going off energy I made a lot of connects as a footballer before I went into music production. So the transition, as I said, was easy. However, um, it's really energy-based. If you have good and pure energy and clear intentions, then you should be able to prosper. Um, I'm a visionary as well, so um, I try to incorporate that into my business and also for anybody around me. So. so you've already, you had a hit rhythm, so I want you to talk to us about that. The work that went into it, you know, talk to me about the artists that you have been producing. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, um, the instrumental, I mean, you can tell it's a very, very emotional. Um, it was really the energy that I was going through at the time. So I really wanted to give that energy to people and also I reached out to all the artists on the rhythm, for example, Ritical, yeah. Chosen, Squash, Chronic Law, and it was a collaborative, collaborative effort with, you know, some of my teammates like DJ Mark, Automatic Records. So we all came together and made it possible. It really isn't mainly me, but it's a whole team effort and I'm glad that the reception from it was a positive one. Talk to me about my letter to you. I love that song. <laughs> I'm I'm Trini, but I love Jamaican music. Yes. So talk to me about that. Um, the the whole compilation is one that you can enjoy. Every song has its purpose. If you're going through hard times, through heartbreak, through you know even motivation, you can go to my letter to you and you find a song that you definitely love. So that's a great thing about it that it's you know it's unique. I would how did say. how did you all come up with that? Like. I, I, was it that you were just sitting down one day and decide, okay, I just want to write about this? You know, where did the song come from? No, it was for the artist. He was, I think you're talking about Chosen. 
um, he was incarcerated yeah. and um, I sent him the instrumental as, it, as soon as he got out yeah. and he was just he just let out his soul into it. So. And the rhythm is one that, you know, a lot of Jamaicans love, my letter to you. Mm -hmm. It's it's on the lips of everybody in every, I mean, the country is on lockdown, of course, yeah. because of COVID. But everywhere you go, people are blasting it in their speakers. So, you know, can we expect more like that from you? Of course, yeah, definitely a lot of more songs in the in the pipeline. We have a lot of new singles that, that we have to release this year and also in January again we will begin the process of dropping another rhythm, like My Letter To You, for example. But this time we'll try and change up the mood, I would say, and based off the energy that we are going through at that time, then we'll release. But I still have two more rhythms that I can release this yeah. year, if I really want to, but... Well, I you really, should! No, 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 I let in, <laughs> let in My Letter To You soak in properly. Well, it's soaked in, trust me. Yeah, we, trust we, me. we love it. So. I can't let you come on the sports mark zone and not ask you about sports. That mm. would be bad of me. Definitely. So, Jamaica, USA, of course, mm. that's a big, big game. Your brother, Leon Bailey, we're all expecting a lot from him. What are our chances? I think that we have a golden generation this time around. I think it's the best team we probably have in history. So I really feel like our chances are A1. I feel like the team is finally gelling together, understanding each other's movements, and also with some new additions like Johnson, for example, he's a great midfield, I believe, and some young talent like Tyreek McGee, and of course, you know, Leon Bale with his experience, and Shamar Nicholson as well. I really feel we have a good chance of Can we win? Because I said on the Sportsmax Zone loud to everybody that Jamaica is winning the Gold Cup this year, and I'm now I'm really nervous that Definitely we can win, for sure. Definitely we can win, 100%. All right. Once the whole nation believes and supports sports a team, then we can win, for sure. Well, that would make me extremely happy. So you're also a businessman. Mm -hmm. um, before you came on the Sports Mag Zone, I, I was looking up at your page, you're pushing um, aspects of your business. So talk to us about that um, venture now. Oh yes, we have different aspects of the business. For example, the marketing side, where we try to market and take, for example, young artists who don't have the platform to really make the transition. Um, we take, we will come up with a marketing strategy for them. We also have, you know, for entertainment. You now that you know that Andrew has kind of opened the gates a kind little of. bit. We have kind to wait of. until the press conference. Yeah, <laughs> definitely on next week. So um, we have, for example, like bar services and you know a lot of services that. So how do people Anything. reach you before we go? Um, you can contact us on Instagram mm -hmm. um, and also you can contact us by via email dynastyentertainmentja at gmail.com and by a contact number. Well, Kyle, it was a pleasure chatting with you. We wish you best of luck in any endeavor that you decide to take. And I'm looking forward for the next two rhythm. Okay. Yeah? No problem, for Thanks sure. again. Thanks of for course. having me. No problem. Pleasure. Of course, our former under-23 footballer in Jamaica, Kyle Butler, now producer and, of course, entrepreneur. Am I really that broken? Whoa, have I really got chosen? They don't really know. They don't really, they don't really know. They don't really know. But do fears and knows it. Torturing emotions approaching, burning inside that cold skin. But one thing for sure, I'll host it. What if I had no strength?